Stop laughing at my pain. I am a terrible Newt's commander. <laughs> Oh, hello. When Mr. Kowalski told me I had to help him make bread, I didn't realize I had to do so in front of muggles. I don't even have my wand to help me. Although showing magic to muggles was how I got my wand confiscated in the first place. Look, look at this wand poster. That's not it. Here, this. Look at this. Some type of wand poster, like I'm some type of dark wizard. Please, I was only trying to help you muggles. And then, then I get this, this in the mail that I'm supposed to go and turn my wand in? How am I supposed to help people? How am I supposed to go and find all of the beasts that have escaped from my briefcase? Anyway, I'm the author of this book, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I am pretty proud of it. I think this will really help all of the wizarding world understand that all of these beasts are not dangerous. They're amazing creatures. But Mr. Kowalski was so enamored with all of these beasts that he decided to open up a bakery and make treats in the shape of them. And so while I don't have my wand, I thought that I would just help him make some bread. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna be making bread from two specific creatures that I enjoy quite a bit. We have my friend, the Niffler here. He's sitting right over here. And then we're also going to be making the glorious Akami. Now Kowalski had showed me some images of some bread that he's already baked of these creatures, but he didn't exactly tell me what they were. So I'm gonna just look at what these pictures are and try to figure out some type of recipe we can make. Here we have some images of some different breads that he's made before. Down here we have what the Niffler is supposed to be. Those eyes have raisins. So maybe we'll make some type of cinnamon raisin bread. And then for the Akami, I don't know about you, but that kind of looks like a pretzel to me. So since the Niffler is probably gonna take the longest, I think we need to make that one first. I don't need this pork can anymore, so we'll just throw that over there. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get out some milk. I get a nice big pan because we're gonna scald the milk. Scalding is basically just heating up the milk right before it's about to boil. So we'll wanna put two cups of our milk into our saucepan. So scalding is also a great time to imbue the milk with a specific type of flavor. Cinnamon bread has that sw cinnamon swirl inside of it, but I don't think that's gonna turn out too great on our Niffler shapes. And so we're just gonna put that cinnamon right inside of the milk. Two tablespoons. Mix that cinnamon right into the milk and just as soon as you start seeing a couple of bubbles here and there, take it off. It kind of smells like your muggle cereal cinnamon toast crunch. So now that we have this nice and hot and we actually want it to cool down again until it's a bit kind of lukewarm or room temperature, we can start getting the rest of our dough put together. So the first thing we want to put in is half a cup of water. Next we we'll want to put in three eggs and add some sugar. One and a half cups. Next we we'll want to add eight tablespoons of butter. That's usually about one stick or half a cup. And we'll just dump that right into the mixture. I add one teaspoon of salt. The super important part, the raisins. God, not having a wand is a pain. Take a full cup of these raisins. For our bread to actually rise, it's our yeast mushroom babies. I'm gonna need to add these to my Fantastic Beasts book. Mushroom babies are very magical. They make things bubble up and froth. And we'll want to add four and a half teaspoons. Now you can just take a spoon and mix this all together. Now doesn't that mixture just look appetizing? God, just imagine that going sliding down your throat. Who muggles even survive? This is so much work. I just flick my wand and be done with this. Take that scalded milk. It is now warm enough for me to be able to put my finger in. Dump that right into the mixture. Want to make sure it's not hot anymore so that we don't kill our yeast babies. And then we can mix this all together. Go on ahead and add the flour. Bread flour specifically. It's, and we will want to add eight cups of this. So if you don't want to make as much, I would recommend having this recipe. And we'll stir that in. Oh, oh my God. Where's the magic when you need it? Oh my God. Ow. <laughs> this is why I use magic. Uh, okay. 
All right, so when your spoon breaks, you gotta go and grab another one. There we go, we're getting a nice dough to form. And now finally, we can add those last two cups of bread flour and mix all of it in. Now we can just go ahead and dump it right on the table so that we can knead it together. You just use your fingers. This is so much. <laughs> we made a fucking shit ton. This is literally the size of my head. So if you don't want this much, cut that recipe in a quarter even. <laughs> We probably want to split it in half because we have to let it rise now and I don't have big enough bowls for this to rise. We'll grab one of our bowls here, put some oil in the bottom and just slide that around on the inside. Right down the center, take one of them and drop it right in there, spin it around, get it nice and covered in that oil. And now we can just put that somewhere warm to rise for an hour. And while we're waiting for that to happen, we can start working on the dough for our Akami pretzels. So now I think it's time to clean up this mess of mess that I've made. Oh yeah, I don't have a wand, so I just do this manually. Whore. Look at this fantastic beast. I caught one, see? This is why I need my wand, is so that I can go and get these fantastic beasts and protect everybody. He's vicious. It's so dangerous, he's gonna attack all the muggles. <laughs> How am I supposed to work under these conditions? <laughs> You're not gonna get any pets with those bites. You're trapped now. <laughs> and so, again, you'll wanna get a bowl, and we'll want to add one and a half cups of lukewarm water. Get out our mushroom babies, and put in two and a quarter teaspoons. Next, we'll want to add some sweetener for the yeast to eat, and put in two tablespoons of brown sugar. We have some honey that we'll put in, two tablespoons of that. Oh, jeez, oh my god. Butter, celery tits. Go ahead and get four tablespoons of butter, melted, make sure it's not too hot to kill our yeast babies. We'll wanna put in a little bit of salt in one teaspoon, we'll mix this together. And we'll want three cups of all-purpose flour. And we'll wanna mix this in every time we put in a cup. We'll add in three quarters of a cup more flour to get rid of that stickiness. And now once it's starting to get kind of hard to mix this, dump it right out onto the counter. Get your hands in there and knead it all together for like three to five minutes. Get out a container, oil it, take our ball of dough and just plop it right in. Turn it around in that oil, get it nice and covered. Put this in the oven with the light on, no heat. Put the towel on top and let it rise for an hour. All right, it's been an hour later, and as you can see, our dough has risen beautifully. So now, we actually want to go and knead it a little bit more so that we can let it rise again for another hour. And all we gotta do now is, once again, beat the dough back into submission for about five minutes. Put it right back into the container that it was in originally, turn it around in there, and then go and put it back in that oven for another hour. We can take out our beautiful pretzel dough, dump it out onto the table, and cut this into thirds. So now we can start forming these into the Akami shapes. Cut out a bit of the dough so that we can use those for the wings. Roll this into a long snake-like figure. So I'm not a fan of Mr. Kowalski's current version. Why are there feathers on the end? It has wings. So we're gonna make a better version. So you're gonna wanna take one end of your dough and lift it up like this. And then you're gonna wanna take this dough and wrap it around. So now we actually have to make the wings. Take our clump of dough that we had cut off earlier and we'll roll this out as well. Take the quarter of it, turn it back on itself on both sides and then pull it a little bit in the center. And so now we can kind of just flatten that out a bit, make a wing shape out of that. And there we go, we kinda got some wing shapes going on here. Take our Akami coil, we can lift up its head and then put this right across that center. So for the third one, I'm gonna try to make it shaped like the one that Mr. Kowalski makes as a nod to his expertise. So we'll want one end to lay out as the tail and then we'll wanna make a figure eight with the rest of it. Cut off two sections from the end that we'll use, turn into wings. Stretch this into a figure eight. We wanna take that last end after making our beautiful wings here, stretch that and roll it out a little bit more. And we'll wanna turn this into four super tiny sections. Kinda stick those right to the underside of our tail. And there we go, we have our Akami that they made inside of the movie. So now that we have all the shapes formed, we actually need to do a special thing to kind of 
hard cook the outside before we actually bake it in the oven. And so you're gonna want to get a heating surface and a giant pot of water here. That we'll want to put in half a cup baking soda in order to harden the outside and cook it just a tiny, tiny bit. And then we want to heat up this entire thing such that it's boiling. In the picture, the head of the akami is actually raised up when it's cooked. What I figure is that we can make these stands out of aluminum foil that we can cook the pretzels with. And we can put that, slide that bottom part right under the akami and raise up the head. It'd be pretty easy to keep his head risen with magic. Okay, so it turns out that my portable heater isn't actually strong enough to boil this giant pot of water, so we're gonna do it in the normal stove. And I have my magical floating camera here to follow me, take each of these individually, and we're gonna drop it in for 20 to 30 seconds and not any longer, because otherwise it's gonna get kind of a metallic taste. One, two, oh no! Three, four, five, and oh no! No, I killed it. I killed the Akami. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so this is turning out great. Uh... <laughs> uh, we're not going to blanch it because these are weirdly shaped. It just melts them. All right, float back to your spot. This is a magical camera. Ooh. You muggles are so impressed. Okay, since Grindelwald came and destroyed our Akami, we're just gonna put the other ones right into the oven and hope that it turns out the best. And so now all we have left to do for these is to salt them before we put them in the oven. So grab some coarse sea salt. If the dough has gotten stiff a little bit, feel free to put just a little bit of water on top to make it a little bit tacky. Just sprinkle that coarse salt right on top because we're making a pretzel. And what pretzel exists without salt? So we'll put it in a 400 degree oven and we'll keep it in for 12 to 15 minutes. This is gonna turn out terrible. Oh, I should have gotten that ready. Oh, stop laughing at my pain. Great. Why didn't you save me from Grindelwald? Look, the glorious Unicat has come to grace our presence. You can't see his unicorn because you're muggles. <laughs> hey, stop! No, 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 stop! Stop, stop, stop! Shake. Shakes don't have teeth. I give up! Nothing works! What does that mean? Uh, okay, then. So it turns out that that water bath is actually important because the only one that actually looks like a pretzel is the one that was in that water bath didn't turn out quite as good as the ones that Kowalski makes, but you know what? They look good, especially this one, even though it doesn't exactly look like an Akami. They're, they're still bread, we'll still eat them. And now, as you might know, Akamis are known for having their shimmering silvery eggs that they care very, very much about. So we're going to make a cheese dip mix in the shape of those silvery eggs. Some nights I stay up, cashing in my bad luck. Some nights, why is it in the pans? Muggles don't know how to organize anything. Now I need to plug this in. <laughs> oh. We can go ahead and get our cream cheese, just one packet, eight ounces, and we'll just dump that right in the bowl. And now because this is super hard and chunky, we wanna get a mixer so that we can actually mix it until it's smooth. How do muggles deal with these machines? Look at this, look at this! <laughs> How do people live without magic? I don't understand. Why are we hiding? Wizards could benefit humanity so much and yet we're just sitting there. There we go, we have it nice and smooth, something actually resembling a dip. Now for this mix, we wanna put in some cheddar cheese, make it nice and cheesy, put in a cup and a half of this white cheddar. So now we wanna go ahead and add a little bit more extra flavoring. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now we'll wanna put in two minced up green onions and we'll just mix this all together again. Get out some cling wrap, take some nice big spoonfuls of this cheese mixture, plop it right down in the center there. And now before we form this, we'll want to add some meat to the inside of our egg. So I have some bacon bits here. Dump some in here for our baby center. 
lift it into a ball shape. And now all we need to do is throw this in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now we're ready to go and make our Niffler cinnamon raisin bread. So we have our giant massive thing as big as my head here. Oh, this already smells amazing. Okay, so we'll start cutting this into pieces that we can play with. Tap it down into kind of an oval shape. Go and start cutting out its limbs. So here we have a section for the legs. Cut out two separate sections for the arms. So now we want to lift it up, squish it forward like so. Start separating out all these separate parts. And as you might see, there might be a little few raisins kind of poking out. If you want, you can go and hide them with the dough. Get your raisins that you had before and kind of just shove them right in for his eyes. You can go ahead and get two forks, crimp the edges of his hands to make his little grabby hands. And there we go, we have our little cute Niffler. Put him on a baking sheet. They're so cute, oh my God. So we have the oven set to 350 degrees and we're going to put these in here for 45 minutes. Here we go, we have our cheese balls. They are fairly hard now. And so we should be able to just pull this plastic part and they should keep their shape. And they do, perfect. Now they're not super egg shaped, but who am I? I mean, I am an expert and Akami eggs are oval. I mean, circular. Now all we need to do is add our Akamis. There's one of them. Here's the other. And our kind of one. <laughs> Beautiful. Good enough. I'm sure they're going to taste amazing. So now I think we need our taste tester. We need our muggle assistant. They look fantastic. I mean, this one uh, looks correct at like a pretzel <laughs> and these look like Akamis, but we didn't manage to get one <laughs> with both the tributes. Maybe next time. Maybe. This one looks kind of like a turtle. All right, here we go. Boom, there's the Ooh, baby. That looks like a delicious baby. <laughs> Ooh, that is really good. The Akami egg dip is really good. See what I think? Yeah, yeah right. it's good. That's really good. It's a nice thick pretzel bread. Yeah, even though it doesn't look like a pretzel, <laughs> it still tastes like a pretzel, so I'm down with that. I thought there might've been too much cheese in it, but the cheese is actually perfect. Mm, a little bit of bacon is super nice. Yeah, especially if you're having a viewing party for the Fantastic Beasts movie. There's a movie of my book? Who, why, why haven't I been told this? They didn't want to give you, give you royalties. Wait, I deserved all those gallons and sickles. I want my cut. Sorry, Warner Bros, it just slipped out. <laughs> I bet this one, even though it looks more like a pretzel, I bet it tastes the exact same. Honestly, I think it tastes a little bit better. <laughs> you can kind of tell the difference in the skin. It has more of a salty taste to it. Cause I do want some pretzel. I gotta bite it. <laughs> There you go. Even though they don't look perfect, they taste perfect. And that's what matters. So I think it's time to go ahead and finish cooking our cinnamon raisin nifflers. Get out of here, muggle. <gasps> Hi. You can't see my magical ways. Oh no, that is not a good sign. Man, they look so good. What happened to them? They turned into monsters, their face split open. I can't do this. I'm done. I'm not a chef. I'm a wizard. I need my wand. Mr. Kowalski can bake these things into cell. Fine. Fine. Mr. Kowalski said that I at least need to make sure that they're edible so that we can sell them for a discount or something. They were so cute before they went in the oven. They look like ant creatures. Like they have pinchers. I mean, there's probably a magical beast that looks like this. <laughs> I think they probably would turn out a lot better if I hadn't crimped those two sides together and then they rose up a lot. Or Hopefully it tastes good at least. <laughs> mm. It's pretty good. Not really good. There's just mm. a nice twinge of sweetness with that cinnamon, then you bite into a raisin with that even a little bit more sweetness and it's just perfect. This is like an amazing breakfast food. Mm. Maybe even some butter and honey. There you go, now we're talking. Okay, so they might not look super pretty, but they taste amazing. I'll use magic next time that I want some of this. That's why it's turned out this way. You know what, screw it. I can't handle this anymore. I need my wand. I need magic. I need to go find my monsters. They're missing and they're all over the place and they're, people are probably freaking out. I'm gonna get in more trouble. I need my wand. I have concerns. I should go probably go after him. 